Hello everyone, it's Caden Weather here. Today we're we'll talking about the excessive, brutal, awful heat in the West as it moves closer and it's going to plan to be moved closer to the central U.S. and bring a big warm up for parts of the um, central and eastern United States. But as it is going to weaken in heat intensity and drop a little bit by its temperatures, so it'll be a little less hot than it is right now in the West, but it's still going to hang on with some of those hot temperatures like high 90s, and to mid 90s to some 80s just hang on to that kind of heat and drop the 100s out but this as you can see excessive heat warnings everywhere just ex very brutal heat usually this is normal for this area but we do not usually get this heat waves for this long so it's you have not had a relief from this heat in so long it's just getting awful and brutal here with the heat, how long it's been staying around. We're going to be talking about when this will hit your area, the heat, and um, how long the West will deal with this coming up in today's video. And so stay tuned. But let's start off in the West before we talk about it getting closer to the central U.S. As we have excessive heat warnings in effect for lots of the um, East Western United States, including Utah, parts of Arizona. California. There's so many areas here under excessive heat warnings, just hundreds of temperatures. It's very hot here. Yeah, just brutal heat that's been going on for very long. But let's get into what we are actually seeing temperature wise. So this is the high temperatures for today. Very hot temperatures here. As you can see, 114 degrees. This is not abnormal for this area, but like I said, we have not had this heat stick around for this long and not cool down. Like, we have cooler temperatures during the night, but it's literally like 70s and 80s. That's still pretty hot. Um, yes, for, yeah. It's just pretty hot still compared to what we had during the day. It's not a big cool down. But definitely, um, you had 114 degrees here. 113 today in Phoenix, 108 in Tucson. We have 192 in um, Los Angeles, but we have 114, 107. I see 102 in Sacramento, so 112 in Las Vegas. That's crazy. That is very hot for just big city, just under that brutal heat. Just very hot temperatures here. But yes, that is the high sports today. Let's see when this heat will move towards the central U.S. and maybe how long it will stick around for the West. Now, how long it will stick around for the West is an unknown question because this go this this model doesn't go so far that it just stops before it even cools down the West. But look, it's just getting worse in the West. Wow, look at the colors just rise. You can see it cool down during the night, but look how much of a difference. So this is the normal during the day. Look how it just slightly has more cooler colors. And if you're wondering why these kind of random spots of coolness pop up and in the middle of this all this heat, it's just because it's in the higher mountains and those are higher elevation, therefore they get cooler temperatures. Now let's see when this will actually move to the central U.S. Now you're seeing cooler temperatures right now in the central slash eastern U.S. here in parts of Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, even parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. But the main part of it is Missouri in that area there is seeing way cooler temperatures than in the western United States. Let's see when this warm up will move. So if you're in that area that I said, Missouri area and surrounding area, enjoy your cool because this is this even if it's not cool, even if it's like only 70s, enjoy it because we're gonna have a warm up and it's just gonna just gonna be a big warm up. Now let's see when this will actually move in. So as you see, we time this out and look what this does to the United States. It just makes it so hot. This is about Tuesday here. Yes, Tuesday of next week, and look what this does. Just super hot temperatures. Look at South Dakota. They're very hot. Um, look what this warming up does to here. You're only seeing hot, I mean, like warmer temperatures here because you're not even seeing below average temperatures. Only like this little part here in the um, parts of Washington, but really, this just brings almost the whole United States. They're either they're either average or above average. They're not even below average at all like they are now. And wow, this is just a brutal heat bringing. Look at look at parts of the north. North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota just slammed there as it moves to the central U.S. More of the southern central U.S. like Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, um, parts of Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas aren't going to see as much brutal heat as we go more north to parts of Nebraska. Wow, South Dakota just slammed. That's where we're going to see more heat. And definitely even reaching parts of New York where we're seeing warm-ups. And then we time this out a little bit further, if this thing even goes any further. As you see, it moves kind of more a little bit south here and hits parts of Oklahoma, um, 
we kind of collide here in um, New Mexico here with two heat waves hitting each other, but that just makes it really hot. And then we see it kind of just spread out and get very random. It's still very hot here. And then this just stays around. We don't, this, this is the end of this model and it goes, it's stay around for so long. We can't see when it actually cools down. So that is an unknown question when this will, how long this will last. This is about at least Saturday of next week. This thing's going to be around for a while, but Definitely have a big warm up for the United States. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you like weather related videos, um, definitely I will just a heads up notice. I may not be able to make such as frequent uploads because school starts very soon for me. But yes, definitely if you have any weather questions, still don't forget to comment that down below and I should be able to answer them. Stay safe, stay weather aware, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!